Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. This is our third Sidra, our third Aliyah of the Torah portion of this week called Hazinu, and it's entirely taken from Deuteronomy chapter 32, sometimes referred to as the Song of Moses. Now, today's verses are verses 13 through 18. So let me, let's go ahead and read those together. So it says, He made him mount his heights of the land, so he ate the produce of the field. He suckled him with honey from a rock, with oil from a flinty boulder, butter of cattle and milk of the flock, with the fat of lambs, rams of Bashan and he goats, with fat of the kidneys of wheat, and blood of grapes you drank. Jeshurun grew fat and kicked. You got fat, you grew thick, you gorged. He forsook God who made him. He mocked the rock of his salvation. They made him jealous with strangers and abominations. They angered him. They sacrificed to demons, uh, non-gods that they had not known, to new ones who came along lately, ones your fathers had not dreaded. The rock who birthed you, you ignored. You forgot God who brought you forth. Now, all this flowery speech may seem a little confusing, but we see in the first parts from 13 through 18 that of the miraculous things that God did for the children of Israel, how he provided for them food, clothing, and shelter, you know, uh, uh, meat and, 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 and uh, wine, milk, and honey, and all these things in the wilderness miraculously. But nonetheless, all these blessings, all these gifts, all these provisions that God bestowed upon the children of Israel, they in turn rejected God. They turned against God and and they started worshiping other gods. Well, that's gratitude for you, right? When you've done something for somebody and they turn around and slap you in the face, you know, when is that ever cool? When, When does that ever feel good? Think of how God felt when he poured everything out for Israel for their care and provision, and they end up cheating on him. They end up turning on him. So this is the entire point of this section of scripture is to remind the children of Israel of their their propensity to be unfaithful and to remember God's uh, undeserved love and provision for them uh, that he has given them. And maybe that, uh, that, that provision will, will turn their hearts back to him. Now, we, re- we need to remember that gifts and blessings from God, the, uh, that, that these are blessings, these are gifts that are bestowed upon us. These are not rights. We do not deserve them. And we need to remember that. So therefore, we shouldn't take anything for granted. And even though we have blessings, sometimes we can get down on ourselves and feel sorry for ourselves because we lack in some way. Usually it's a lack of a want rather than a need. But no matter how dire our situation is, we should always remember that we are blessed. And we always need to realize that there's somebody else who has it worse than us. Now, I entitled this devotional, Well, That's Gratitude for You. And it reminds me of a very sad video that I saw. And it's this teenage boy, 16 got his driver's license. It's his birthday. And his parents surprise him with a car. Is he overjoyed? Is he jumping up and down? Is he hugging his parents? Is he excited? No, he's angry. He's insulted. Why? Because it's a used car. Why? Because it's it's an older car. Why? Because it's kind of a fixer-upper. And so he looks a gift horse in the mouth And he thinks it's some kind of cruel joke because he thought he deserved a brand spanking new car. No, you know, I've noticed that when kids get brand new cars, they're usually wrecked within three months to a year. Why? Because they didn't pay for it. So they hot rod about with it. They're careless with it. But if a child is made to buy their own car, they'll usually buy a used one, one that's a fixer-upper. They take pride in that because they spent their blood, sweat, and tears, their hard-earned money on it, and it means something to them. It's not just some kind of lavish gift that's bestowed, and they don't really have no emotional connection to it. And so they, they wax it every day. They wash it every day. They take care of it. They fix it up. You know. So this, is, this shows that we need to be grateful. We need to have gratitude. And as it says in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, in everything, give thanks. And this kind of echoes and reminds me of what James says, that take joy in our trials and tribulations because we know that they develop patience and perseverance. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.